Hello YouTubers, in this video we are going to measure the distance using ultrasonic sensor 7 cm, 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2 and it works like this. There are several different modules available. This one is HCSR04. It will only work with 5V. We need to connect the VCC to the 5V pin. Also, we need to connect the trig and echo pin for the 5V tolerant pin in the STM32 blue pill. I will show you the diagram. But this one is CS100. It can work with 5V. Also, it will work with 3.3V. We can connect VCC to 3.3V or 5V. The wire, wiring diagram is here. For the OLED, SDA connected to B7, SCL connected to B6 and VCC connected to 3.3V, ground connected to G. For the ultrasonic sensor, if it is HCSR04, we need to connect VCC to 5V. It will only work with 5V and the ground to ground. If we connect VCC to 5V, we need to connect these two pins, trig and echo, to 5V tolerant pin. I show you in the diagram, this one, the green color with the 5 on it is 5V tolerant pin. This is the standard 3.3V. This here, 3.3V pin. This is 5V pin. And these are all 5V pin except, the, except this one. So I am connecting PA9, PA8 to uh, trig and echo. So for the trig pin, we connect A9, echo pin A8. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, Serial Wire. Click RCC. For the high speed clock, click Crystal Ceramic. Select Clock Configuration tab. In this area, enter 72 and enter and click OK. While this one is finished, we can click the Pinout and Configuration again. Ah, finished. We can click it again. Click Timers. Click Team 1. For the Clock Source, Internal Clock. Configuration, Parameter Setting. Prescaler, we change this to 71. Enter. Now click connectivity. Click IC, I2C1. For I2C, select I2C. For the configuration parameter setting, I2C speed is fast mode. Now for the pin, PA9, we make it GPIO output. PB, PA, PA8, GPIO input. That's all the setting. We can click save. While the code is being generated, in the description below, I have given a website address. There I have given all the codes. When we go there, this one, we go below. The diagram is here. The picture is here. Q by D setting is here, we have already done. There are library, we have to put four files. In core INC folder, we need to put this two. Core SRC folder, we need to put this two. I show how to do it. I do one and then I do other three quickly. I fast forward the video for that. Select the fonts.h and we control A to copy all of them. Control C to copy. And we go to cube ID. The, the core is here. We expand it. INC folder. And right click the INC folder. New file. For the file name, type fonts.h and click finish. In this area, we paste it. Control V to paste it. And we can click save. We can close this one now. So we in the INC folder, we've done one. 
we need to do other one also here. Other two file we have to put it in SRC folder. So we go there. I'm going to fast forward the video. I do. I'm going to do these three. Yeah, we have created fonts H SSD H here, font C SSD 130C here. Now we can go there again. Go back. All done. Now in the main.c file, we need to copy and paste these codes. In the user code begin includes, we need to paste these three lines. Control C to copy. Here, user code begin includes, we paste it. In the user code begin PV, we need to copy from here until here. Copy it and in the PV, here, we paste it here. And user code begin 2, we need to copy and paste these three lines. Copy it. User code begin 2, that is here, we paste it. Finally, in the while loop, we copy from here until HL delay 50. Copy and the while loop is here, we paste it. What it does is, it set the pin to high and uh, it wait for 10 microseconds resetting the timer and when the echo pin goes high it gets the first value when the echo pin goes low it gets the second value and the difference multiplied by this number is the distance and then it puts the distance in the uh, OLED display now we can click save Press this button to build and see for any errors. All good, zero errors. Now we can click the green button to upload the code. This one. Click debugger. For the probe, select open OCD. It will work with the clone board, also with the original STM32 board. Click show generate option. Go below. For the reset mode, software system reset. Click apply. Click OK. All good. I have uploaded the code. It works like this. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.